Hey everyone, it's Bev DeBono with today's tip. I wanted to spend a little bit of time showing you a great idea that you can use with some very busy papers. Let me just straighten up my camera here. Okay, so in many of our paper packs, we end up with papers sometimes that are kind of busy. And when I talk about busy, I mean like an all over pattern that makes it a little harder for you to scrap a gun. So these are some of the busy patterns that I have taken from some of the Creative Memories collections. And you'll recognize them as um, Serene Waters, this is a Painted Garden, Tropic Time, Emerald Gemstone, and my all-time favorite, Vitamin C, which unfortunately has been retired. But I'm an island girl, and that's why I love my uh, vitamin C. Um, anyway, so today what I want to do is show you a quick idea using a busy pattern that doesn't take a lot of time and really just a couple of cuts with your trimmer. So you want to start with your, uh, first off, start out with your busy pattern and then you want a couple of papers that are going to coordinate with that. So I've just selected I've picked out one of the blues here, that beautiful orange, and then the uh, white uh, pattern that's gonna go with it. And what I'm gonna do is just start uh, cutting and show you what we're going to do with this. And my first cut, I'm gonna make my, and I'm gonna build this on my mat for you here. So I need two three inch strips on both edges. So let's start with one side here, and that's gonna be a three inch strip, three by 12. Now that one's gonna go on this particular side. And what I want to do now is try to center this piece here so that it anchors my left hand side of my paper. And this has to be three by 12. And so I'm just gonna do a little cheat sheet here. This is my post-it note, and you see the post-it note actually measures three inches. I'm just gonna put my post-it note here, and that I'm gonna know where I need to cut to center the sunset on my paper. So that's just a little trick sometimes that I, I like to do. And now I'm gonna cut here at the edge of my post-it note. Okay, and then turn it and then cut it at the three inch mark. And this should be pretty close to my uh, post-it note. So that's going to become my anchor for the other side. And once I have that, I can start building the other pieces that I need for this page. So I want to have a bottom strip on the bottom to kind of anchor the bottom pieces. And those strips need to be four by 12. And that is gonna slip underneath, that one already happens to be a four by 12. So I will cut this other piece to four by 12 and that will go on the other side. and that's gonna slide right under that other side. And then to anchor my top, I'm gonna to use an inch and a half strip across the top, and I'm going to use the orange. I'm gonna use an inch and a half in the orange. And I need that two times, and that will go across the top. And you can put it above or below, um, it's fine. Oh, let me just, I'm not on a straight surface, so my trimmer didn't cut that bottom piece there. Okay, and that's gonna anchor my top. And now I just need to put some mats along the way. So in the middle here, um, I'm going to use four by five and a quarter. I need those four times. So I'm gonna cut two four inches. And 
and this already happens to be four inches because I'm using a 12 by 12. And then I'm gonna make that five and a quarter. So turn it to the side. I'm cutting two sheets at a time. So make sure you go over it a couple of times. I'm gonna do that again by five, four by five and a quarter. I'm just gonna do that a couple of times. And now those will be our mats up at the top. And then you can put your photos down here, but if you don't have photos right away, I'm just gonna put a placeholder and I will get four of these and they're gonna be four by three and a half. So I'm gonna cut two four inch sections first. And then I'm gonna make these three and a half and they're gonna go right across four by three and a half and four by three and a half. And then I kind of like this mat that came in the pack that says wherever you are, be all there. And it's already four inches wide so I'm just going to cut that down to three and a half. I'm just going to play with it and see where the that's going to end up. So it's going to be four by three and a half. So that's going to go kind of right there and anchor that. And now we're just ready to assemble our page. So I'm going to get, when you have a busy background like this, you really want something probably... Um, a little bit more basic such as white and I'm just gonna you know shimmy my white paper my white back right underneath it you see how quick that comes together and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and then we'll just tape it down really quickly um, because it's a really quick uh, design Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to anchor my top and I'm going to uh, place that at the half an inch down from the top edge. So when you're using your 13 by 13 mat, it's very fast because you can just line up your strip, the top of your strip, with the half inch mark that goes side to side. And you don't really have to um, take your ruler and measure that part. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom. And you'll notice I'm gonna keep all of my measurements the same. The bottom is gonna be a half an inch from the bottom. And then my side piece is going to be a half an inch from the side. So just by keeping it uh, the same like that with the half an inch, it really keeps your continuity going and it is much easier I believe on your eye so now this one is going here and I am going to put the other white piece here just like that And you can do this idea over and over with any busy paper or busy pattern. And you'll see how quickly this just, it just comes together. It's such a, a really cool, cool idea. And just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing, exact same thing on the other side. Make sure your paper is lined up, your base paper is lined up perfectly on the 13 by 13 mat. So you have your measurements from side to side, half an inch from the top. We're gonna go half an inch from the bottom and half an inch on the side. And we're just gonna repeat exactly the same thing that we did um, on the other side. Now my paper shifted just a little bit, so I'm going to have to, I'm just gonna lift and place that back down again. There you go. 
and this is going to go right like that. Now this uh, pack happens to be from Serene Waters and it does have that beautiful sunset paper and it is one that is still available. And see how nice that looks with that same right there. It kind of breaks it up a little bit and it blends right in. And it's a great way to use some of your mats where they don't dominate the whole page, but that it works into your design. And just like that, your page is coming together very quickly. And then I've just selected a few little pieces um, that we can add to it. I'm going to use uh, some seashells up at the top. This is from, I believe, a summertime collection or, and I'm just gonna put some repo tape, repositionable tape up at the top there. And that's gonna go just right across. And that just, again, anchors your top. And then I've pre-selected some other um, stickers and tags, and these were all from the <clears throat> Serene Waters collection. I'm going to put, and I'm gonna put my tag, you see, at the same level as that line here. And again, it's just really nice for your eye. And there's the word Sunset Love. <clears throat> and then down here at the bottom, I kind of want to have my sailboat, <laughs> excuse me, I believe. I'd like a sailboat down here. So I'm going to just kind of, like I said, put some of my embellishments from my packs here. This was another sticker. This was a turtle die cut. Um, all from that Serene Waters uh, collection. And then, how perfect is this? When you watch the sunset, you're just taking it all in, and this is the perfect title for that, taking it all in. So there is my fast tip for today. This is the pattern, Serene Waters, and that was the sunset paper that we used. I also wanted to show you, I did another page using, this was from the Emerald Gemstone paper pack, which was, uh, um, you know, one that uh, was a very popular a while back. And same idea, but using this in, in, a, in the same formula and this particular one is from the Tropic Vibes the brand new uh, paper pack Tropic Vibes and this is the layout with that so you can see with the same technique or the same formula we can do three different layouts and they look completely different but it's a great way to use your busy paper so I hope you like today's tip please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Bev DeBono Designs, and I have many videos up there for some fast and fun tips for your scrapbook pages. Have a great day. Bye-bye.